Okay, let's take a quick look at how the uh, coplot works as a method of visualizing the interaction between two quantitative variables. So this first part here, I've just loaded and attached the uh, data set prestige. So I'm going to do a coplot. We look at prestige as the variable I'm trying to predict as a function of income, but I want to look at that over various levels of education. Um, if you, make sure you set this rows equal to one. It just makes things a lot easier to read. And there's my citations right there if you want to read more about this. And there you go. So what it does is it breaks up in this top one various levels of education. And then with each, in the, within each one of those, here's what the linear relation looks like. So at low levels of education, prestige really goes... Uh, up as you get more income. And then as we move up in, in income, we're still moving up in prestige as income goes up. And then you can see it kind of flattens off a little bit at higher levels of, uh, education, of education. And then levels off a little bit more and a little bit more. So that's one way to look at the interaction between two quantitative variables.